A seldom advertised feature from StreamYard is actually a sub feature of local recording. It's called ISO, also known as isolated video. You didn't know StreamYard had that, did you? I did not know that. When you enable local recording, you get a clean file, no show graphics of every person in the studio. Pretty dope, huh? It's truly awesome. Now, if we stack that feature on top of custom layouts, this means we can record a nine by 16 video, which is vertical, and still get the wide version of the video with no graphics using local recording. Export them to your favorite editor, and in minutes, you can have multiple versions of your recording or live show ready to go. I like that, I really do. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today, we're looking at how to get ISO video, vertical and wide, in one recording from StreamYard. So here we are on the desktop. I've already added one of my cameras to the screen here in the StreamYard studio. And the first thing I want to do is show you how to turn on local recording. You may know that already, but I want to make sure that's clear since that's a critical feature that we're going to utilize for what we're doing today. So I'm highlighting here, I'm going to settings, going to the recording option here, recording. And I just got to make sure that local recording for each participant is selected. Local recording for each participant is selected. It says record audio and video, and I, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> so make sure that those are selected and you'll have everything that you need. So keep that like that. So that's the setting for local recording. That's what's going to give us the individual video files. Now, I've already added my laptop which is right next to me over here as a guest in the studio. So that is going to be one of our other videos that we'll utilize. But now, how do we get nine by 16? Remember, I said we're going to stack that by using custom layouts. So I'm going to go ahead and build a, a new layout. I'm just going to go here to where it says new layout, hit the plus sign. It gives me a blank canvas. Um, what I'm also going to do is select this template. Now this template, I'm going to make sure you guys get access to this later in the video. So stay, stick around to learn where you can download this template, but this template is here and it is something that I just built in Canva. It's got the nine by 16 size already on it and it has in clear bold letters, don't use this space. If you want vertical, this is how you build it out. So I'm using this as a background. I'm gonna just click to add an item. I'm gonna add a camera slot. See what that looks like there to add a camera slot. You can see my cameras now on the screen and you just go up here to where it says fit or fill, fit or fill. We select that and we want this to fill. You wanna make sure you select fill from this drop down menu. So we select fill, right? That allows us to now crop in on this video. So I'm gonna put it right to the, to the top there. And you can actually use the arrows on your keyboard to adjust it. You wanna make sure that there's no white remaining, right? So that's the space, get that white part there. I'm gonna make sure that this is out to that side. And then we just gotta pull it down, boom. Nine by 16, vertical, right here in StreamYard. And so we can click that save here. I'm gonna call this vertical, if I can type, one, right? Save new layout. So vertical one, so vertical with one camera. Notice it goes back to the original layout because I have to actually select that layout. So now vertical one is here. I'm gonna select that layout and you can see that now I've got this vertical. You can also design by using the same methods, same steps that I did before, hitting new layout, grabbing that template and designing, or I should say sizing your cameras in a way that you need to for it to be nine by 16. Let's say you wanna have a guest, I'm gonna add the other camera into the stream, but of course, since this scene or layout is already set for one camera, it doesn't do anything. That's a whole other hack that we'll deal with later. But I'm just gonna select this other layout that I have here, it's called Vertical 2. And I also have a layout that's called Vertical 4. So in case if I have four people in the stream, I've got it set to where all four can be in this nine by 16 format. And 
somebody's gonna ask in the comments, I already know, can you stream like this? The answer is absolutely yes, but they will see the do not use this space on either side or they'll just see the black space. So maybe you create one like this with your logo or some other information on the sides and then you don't put the don't use this space in there. Remember, this is a template just for us to be able to record our broadcast or record our uh, interviews in StreamYard and then go ahead and edit the video afterwards to chop off those sides. So this is what it would look like. This is myself and of course the guest um, in the studio, we would be able to engage with one another vertically. And the way we would be able to edit that is by clicking the record button, which I'm clicking now. Of course, it's saying broadcast quality, local recordings, record audio and video. We click record and uh, now it is recording. And I want you to notice this on the side here. It says uploading recordings. Now they've got the hope, both, both of them in the studio there. You just need to make sure you are mindful that your guest, whoever is in your studio, their, is, their video is recording locally to their machine and it will upload after the fact, keep that in mind. So we've gone 23 minutes now. I'm just gonna kind of move this around a little bit more this back again so that you can kind of get a feel for that movement in the recording and 36 seconds I think is enough let's go ahead and hit the end record button now so now that but that is finished recording but notice uh, if you go to the recording tab you'll see here that the the videos are still uploading so you want to make sure that both videos are complete. You see that that duck at the top there that says upload complete. Make sure both of those are complete before your guest leaves the studio. Now that those are complete, I can go over to the videos library by clicking on view recordings and click on view recordings. That's going to load the video library for StreamYard and that video is now available. That video is now available. So this video here the one that we're seeing on screen is the video with both cameras added and it is already set in the vertical format. So all I've got to do in my editor is chop off the sides. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then I have that vertical video ready to go. But down below here, you're seeing two other videos, these local recordings. These videos are the ones that are the full camera, the wide versions of both my camera and the guest camera that was in the studio during our recording. So here I'm simply going to click on export. It says export here and I use DaVinci Resolve, but if you use Adobe Premiere, if you use Final Cut, you see those files there as well. I'm simply gonna click on download for DaVinci Resolve, it's preparing the files and you may, it may take some time to do that. This is a 30 second, 36 second video. So it's not going to take that long, depending on the size and the length of your video, it, it will probably take longer. Now that that file has downloaded, let's take a look at them in my finder. So that is a zip file. You can see what that looks like there. It's a zip file here. I'm going to extract that zip file. Now that that is extracted, I've got a little folder and in that folder, you can see there's the project file, there's the VOD, then there's the actual um, individual files for the two videos. So let's take a look at what those look like. Here's one. That's the video, um, one of the videos from the system. Again, you can see that that video is not nine by 16, that video is wide. And then we can go to the other video. And again, you can see that this video is also not nine by 16. That's a wide video. So we've already delivered on the first portion, right? Of what we set out to do with this video, how to get individual uh, video files along with vertical. So now you can see the two files here. Now, where's the vertical one? I'm glad you asked. Here's the vertical one and it's the VOD file. This is the actual recording of the quote unquote broadcast, the way that it looked in StreamYard. So this file is the one that we will take, drop into DaVinci Resolve by double clicking the project file. And then once we have that in DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna get a chance to chop off those sides. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I want you to notice something um, here in the folder that was downloaded or extracted, I should say, 
There is no XML file for DaVinci Resolve. The Adobe Premiere project file is the one that works with DaVinci Resolve. So we would simply need to double click this file, the Adobe Premiere project file, and that will open up DaVinci Resolve with the entire timeline already coded and everything is synced up. So even though there is a portion of the video where th this was not added to the screen, you can see that that part is already blank and it has everything synced up with both video and audio and both of the videos in the system, along with the VOD file, which has the vertical version of the video. So you could take that, edit it in any way you want. I've created another timeline here that I'm gonna open up, blank timeline, and on this timeline, I've gotta just do one thing real quick, and that is to edit the timeline itself. Uh, here's the timeline settings. I'm gonna edit the timeline settings um, from 1920 by 1080. You can see that there. I'm gonna change that. So we uncheck project settings. We're gonna do 1080. We're gonna just simply flip those two by 920. All right, so I want you to see that. 1080 by 920. Let's zoom in on that a little bit. 1080 by 920. Sorry for the size, it's, uh, it's pretty small. But it's we change the project uh, timeline resolution to 1080 by 1920. So we flipped it, we say okay to that, you can see that that immediately makes this vertical. So now we've got our vertical. I'm gonna bring this VOD file onto the timeline here. And the next, or I should say last thing we need to do is to zoom in on this file to 3 3.16, 3.16, 3.16. And now we're there. So I've, all I did was zoom in on that file to 3.16. It's at 3.15, there it is, 3.16. And now you can see this file is this this is the full file this is playing this is uh vertical this is nine by 16 and so what that means is we essentially have the video file the the vertical file the nine by 16 file then we also have the full wide files individually and we can do everything we need to from one recording in Streamyard. Record once and get a vertical video for social and individual video files that are wide to edit any way you like. Be sure if you're doing this with a guest that they stay in the studio to allow for the local video to completely upload. That's critical. This thing was fun, y'all. <laughs> Stacking features to deliver a different result. We put a link to the 9x16 background template in the description. Be sure to grab your free copy today. Learn more StreamYard hacks, tips, and best practices from these videos.